All right, welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back for my existing subscribers. I'm gonna just, just quickly zoom in real quick here. So if you look here, the frequency is kind of inconsistent. It's showing at 5.4 gigahertz, 5.5 gigahertz on my main CCD, which is CCD zero, as well as CCD one having also some, some of the load. Now this is the big issue when it comes to the games like Warzone because that crosstalk is really dropping down the performance. And so a lot of y'all asked me to kind of show you what the fix that I found was. Now I went through and I went to CPPC, which was a recommendation. Uh, I went through CPPC and was able to actually put it on driver. I've tried it on cash. I've tried it on auto, just, you know, it's something I've recently been testing out. Um, and so like, it might be harder to see here, but again, both CCDs are being used. So I'm gonna close out of this and I am going to quit the desktop, restart the PC, go into the BIOS and kind of show you what I changed there. So you are, let's make sure we get that delete key so we can get in there. But essentially I went in, loaded the X3D preset. I'm going to show you what features I changed. And I was just reading through one of the settings and tested it out myself just to see what it does. So far, no issues. Hasn't caused any stability issues in the games. Um, pretty much yesterday and the day before, it's been five out of five launching on the right course. So let me get into the BIOS as soon as this comes up. We'll go into the advanced mode. So that's F7. And things I've tried in the past. Core tunings for configuration for gaming. I turned that off, or turned it to legacy. Didn't work. It didn't do anything. Adaptive uh, CCD Parker. You saw that was enabled, and it was still using the other CCD. Um, so here it's under Core Flex, right? So you go in here on an Aces board, and it says Load X3D Core Flex Gaming Preset. On my 7950X3D, all I had to do was click this. But when I was reading the Level One action and the Level Three action, I see that they're both at one so for me i was like it's kind of strange for it to be you know i didn't really know what it does so i was just reading each one of these options because i had to figure out in my mind it felt like the the bios which i'm on an x670 board on the latest bios um but i felt like it was just reading the course backwards right and so I changed this to zero because it says down in the bottom here, if you read, it says CCD priority action value refers to CCD number. So this has a one there as the value, but it says CCD zero. So I was like, oh, I wonder if this is like why it's showing up incorrectly. So I just messed with this first one. And then I left this here um, as far as Core Parker and left everything else alone. So I just had loaded that preset, left everything else alone. And I'm going to go back into the game and you'll kind of see how that works afterwards so only change i made should launch just fine i would rather show y'all warzone but pretty much every game i launched um afterwards i was able to see that the correct ccd was being selected by the game so i just felt like something was off and issues i had before core parking um not core parking the only thing that would really work would be to go into the turbo game mode which turns off the second CCD altogether, and it turns off hyper threading. For those of y'all that if I follow my channel, that's not something I'm gonna be doing, right? So I'm not the guy that's, I used to turn off e-cores back on the 12th gen, but I do a little video editing and stuff like that. So I want all my 16 cores. Otherwise you just stay with the 9800X3, which by the way, is gonna end up being the recommendation here. So I'm gonna fire up Afterburner so we get the overlay. Though I'm a little OC, cause I'm gonna play some games after this video. And then hop into you play pause. All right, so we're back. Got my controller connected. Minimize this real quick. But you'll see that the the first set of frequencies, uh, unlike before, are going to be locked in at the higher frequency, and then the second CCD is going to get parked. So let's put this on. And every now and then you get a little bit of work on CCD one, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. But um, as you can already see, it was already showing up correctly. So that's how I was able to fix it. Like I said, you get a little bit of work on CC1 from time to time. It might be a little harder to see right here. Um, but let me launch the game real quick. 
on this game, it really doesn't make that big a difference. But on a game like, let's say for instance, Call of Duty, when you go to Warzone, it's a very big difference. It's like a 100 FPS difference. So definitely worth doing. And then, like I said, make sure that your CPU is using the, the Vcash TCD. So look up here, you got 5.3 gigahertz and then 4.3. So this is how I fixed it. It's a little bit of a long-winded video, but you know, gets the job done. You know, it explains everything and shows exactly what I did. And for whatever reason, that process was broken. This game looks really good, by the way. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Hopefully this helps some of y'all out. Um, this is not something that I've seen many YouTubers have issues with. So I'm starting to think that is mainly maybe a configuration issue. Um, maybe I shouldn't have changed my BIOS. <laughs> so... What's crazy about this game is this is like when you use frame gen. So I think I'm on FSR frame generation with FSR, maybe high quality. Let's see. Uh, system. Yeah, I think it's FSR high quality. No, it's DLSS quality with FSR frame gen. Okay. So yeah, I mean, still pretty good. Get the best of both worlds right there, I guess. It was another game I tried this on. Maybe it was COD, I'm not sure. But I had to turn, oh, it was Monster Hunter. So on Monster Hunter, you have to turn on, um, you have to turn on FSR to get FSR frame gen. It kind of like ties it behind the aliasing. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the video off from here, but that kind of fixed it for me. And again, it's just one of those things that it was driving me crazy. Felt like I had a bad CPU. I was trying to sell my second 9950X 3D. I was trying to sell it MSRP, right? Just the same amount I got it in four plus tax. And then I ended up opening it. So I, I just did a return because I wasn't trying to make money on it. But I ended up opening it just to see if it was a defective CPU because I'm playing Call of Duty. I'm getting like 220 FPS with a 5090 at 1440p. Like I knew I was going to be CPU bottleneck, but that wasn't acceptable, especially with the 9800X 3D. I was getting like 280s, 290s, 300s. Um, so to see it that low, I was like, yeah, so I was definitely broken here. But yeah. All right, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Be easy.